the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may be seated. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and before His Church to witness the union of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. This is an honorable estate instituted and blessed by God in paradise before humanity's fall into sin. In marriage, we see a picture of the communion between Christ and His bride, the Church. Our Lord blessed and honored marriage with His presence and first miracle at Cana in Galilee. This estate is also commended to us by the Apostle Paul as good and honorable. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into inadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for the mutual companionship, help, and support that each person ought to receive from the other, both in prosperity and adversity. Marriage was also ordained so that man and woman may find delight in one another. Therefore, all persons who marry shall take a spouse in holiness and honor, not in the passion of lust. For God has not called us to impurity, but in holiness. God also established marriage for the procreation of children who are to be brought up in the fear and instruction of the Lord, so that they may offer Him their praise. For these reasons, God has established the holy estate that Brian Vaughn and Holly Fulton wish to enter. They desire our prayers as they begin their marriage in the Lord's name and with His blessing. Brian and Holly chose two scripture readings for their wedding. First from the Old Testament book of Ruth, chapter 1. But Ruth said, do not urge me to leave you or to return from following you. Where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people and your God my God. Where you die, I will die. And there will I be buried. May the Lord do to me so and more also. If anything but death parts me from you. This is the word of the Lord. The second reading is a well-known wedding scripture passage from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. So now faith, hope, and love abide, these three. But the greatest of these is love. This is the word of the Lord. Grace and peace to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. On this wonderful day the Lord has given us. The day that you've been waiting for for a long time. You guys have known each other for years. You've been engaged for over a year. We've worked together uh, in the past months, getting to know each other, helping you guys getting to get to know each other. And now you've decided it's the right thing to do. Today's the day you're getting hitched. <laughs> What a beautiful scripture reading that you guys chose for today. The 1 Corinthians 13 passage about love. We talked about that a couple of times a, a few weeks ago. Love being patient and kind and the foundation of really everything. The foundation of your relationship. And we ask the Lord that it's the foundation of your marriage as well. See. Paul doesn't get into it in the 1 Corinthians verse, but another apostle by the name of John tells us what the source of this love is. God is love, says John. And he even goes further and he says, we love, you love, because he first loved us. 
you guys bring with you that love for each other into this marriage, that love that has its source in your Savior, Jesus Christ, who proved his love to you beyond any doubt by dying on the cross for you and being raised from the dead who lives for you now. The foundation of your marriage. The foundation of your lives. And so I invite you. Paul invites you. The congregation here invites you to bring that love, the love of Christ, into your marriage. A love that endures all things, believes all things, bears all things, and hopes all things. That love. You know, as well as anybody, there are going to be good days, awesome weeks, months on end that are just beautiful. Rejoice in those times. Come together in those times and thank the Lord. You also know that there will be some challenging times as well. Times that you would rather not have to be going through, but you will be going through them. That's also a time for the two of you to come together. Never let these things drive you apart, but let them bring you together. And together, go to your Lord and ask Him to help you through. And He will. Just like He answered our prayer from yesterday that the rain would hold off for our wedding service today. He hears us and He answers our prayers. This is you. He loves you love each other with that very same love. Amen. Only if you would give your flowers to your prize money. And only burn and face each other, please. Brian, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? To live together in the holy estate of matrimony as God ordained it. Will you nourish and cherish her as Christ loved his body, the church, giving himself up for her? Will you love, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain united to her alone so long as you both shall live, then say, I will. Holly, will you have this man to be your wedded husband? to live together in the holy estate of matrimony as God ordained it? Will you submit to Him as the church submits to Christ? Will you love, honor, and keep Him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain united to Him alone, so long as you both shall live? Then say, I will. At this time, I ask, who gives this woman to be married to this man? generously created all things to serve us for our good. Send your blessings upon this couple who 
shall wear these rings as a constant reminder of their marital fidelity. Grant that by your mercy they may live gladly and faithfully in this holy estate. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Receive this ring as a pledge and token of wedded love and faithfulness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Receive this ring as a pledge and token of wedded love and faithfulness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, Brian and Holly will conclude the sand ceremony that began at the beginning of our service when both Brian and Holly's mothers poured some of their sand into the heart-shaped uh, receptacle already. Go ahead and go down there. Uh, this is a beautiful way of showing that not only are Brian and Holly coming together this day, but also the, the Vaughn family and the Fulton family as well. So as Holly and Brian pour their sand, representative of their lives into this heart-shaped uh, vase, what they're doing is showing that their hearts are united now and until death parts them. As a result, they will have a keepsake that they will get to have in their home to remember this wonderful day and their life together. to each other in holy matrimony, have given themselves to each other by their solemn pledges, and have declared the same before God and these witnesses, I pronounce them to be husband and wife in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. What God has joined together, let no one put asunder. The Almighty and gracious God abundantly grant you his favor 
and sanctify and bless you with the blessings given to Adam and Eve in paradise, that you may please him in both body and soul, and live together in holy love until your life's end. together in prayer. Almighty, everlasting God, our Heavenly Father, grant that by your blessing, Brian and Holly may live together according to your word and promise. Strengthen them in faithfulness and love toward each other. Sustain and defend them in every trial and temptation. Help them to live in faith towards you in the communion of your holy church and in loving service to each other, that they may ever enjoy your heavenly blessing. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We join together and pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. And I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Brian Vaughn.